In this video, we're going to look at the Google Analytics integration with Microsoft Clarity. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are in Microsoft Clarity and I'm on the settings tab and at the bottom here we can see Google Analytics integration, get started. Now I'm going to go ahead, click get started and it's going to ask me to sign in and connect. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my Google account. And this is one of the reasons why I actually went ahead and used that when I first signed up with Microsoft Clarity. Don't know if it makes any difference, but I figured I would just go ahead and maybe make it a bit easier. I don't know for sure. Um, so what's happened now is once I've clicked on that and I've allowed Google Analytics to connect, I now have a list of all of my sites. So I'm going to say, well, which site is it that I want to connect to? I'm going to kick click on my main website and now it's basically saying, okay, that's it. It is active. I've got a message at the top that says it's been successfully linked to Google Analytics. Now, what does this integration actually do? If we go ahead and we go into Google Analytics, so we can see here, this is my live Google Analytics um, site where I'm able to track all of the site data. Now, what it's done is if I go into the admin area for Google Analytics and I scroll down and I look at custom definitions and I look at custom dimensions, what this has done is it's actually gone ahead and it has added a dimension name that is got has the scope of session, which basically means that for different sessions, it's going to apply um, a playback URL for Microsoft Clarity. Now we'll look into this and explain a little bit more, but that's the first thing to know that it is actually going to add in a new dimension to your Google Analytics account. All right, so if we go back and let's go ahead and we'll delve into the, let's look at the behavior. So if we go ahead and we look at site content, so this is basically all pages that um, people have been looking at, we can see here that we've got a, a list of pages that have been visited and we can see the number of page views for each um, link and so on. Now, what you've got when we, we're looking at this list is you have a dimension and the dimension at the minute is the primary one is the page. What I can do is I can go ahead and I can search and add in a secondary dimension. So if I just search for clarity, there's that um, custom dimension, the clarity playback URL. So let's go ahead and add that. Now what this has done, I'm just going to go ahead and add in a filter to exclude anything where the page is matches this because that's basically the root, um, the home page. So I, I just want to get rid of that. So now what we can see is we've got the page and then we basically have a clarity playback URL that goes along with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and let's go with this one. I'm going to copy this and I'm already logged into clarity. So if I just go ahead and paste that URL because I'm logged in, what that's giving me is it's giving me everything that is linked to that specific playback URL. So I can then sit and I can watch all of the recordings that are tied to that. So we can see along the bottom here, it's it's going through and it's just shown as a click and then it's shown, okay, the user's left the site. So now what we've got is um, somebody that is on the forms versus Dynamics 365 customer voice blog. And again, we can see over on the left, we've got the clicks that they made, um, any dead clicks and so on. So we can see all of that information. So the, the goal or the purpose for this would be to, if I'm looking at, let's say I'm looking at, uh, da, 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 all traffic and maybe traffic based, or let me just go ahead and pause this because it is clicking away in my ears. <laughs> um, so we might want to look at the um, landing pages that are coming from social media traffic. Okay, so maybe we're looking at that. So then I could go ahead and I could add in that clarity playback URL. So then I can go ahead and I can watch and see what happened when somebody came from a social media site and landed on a specific page. So this could be really helpful if you are starting to see that maybe there's a page that it, it never kind of carries on from that page. 
Um, and you might want to go ahead and look at the interaction that somebody had had with your website and kind of sit and watch and say, okay, well, where was the challenge? Where was the problem? Why are people leaving that? So this we can see that somebody's actually um, visited from a mobile device, which is why it, it looks that way. So we can kind of look at that information and watch it. So if you haven't done it already, then it's certainly worth going ahead and linking it to Google Analytics because like I've said in, in previous videos and blogs, this is not a replacement for Google Analytics. It's something to certainly use in conjunction with Google Analytics. And here's one very clear, obvious way and reason for doing this is we can see if they, we've got certain um, challenges or problems or we can create reports or dashboards in Google Analytics to see where we might have certain issues. And then we can come in here and we can get the Clarity Playback URL and then go ahead and actually watch and see what did the user experience? What happened? We're kind of looking over their shoulder, as creepy as that sounds, but it is giving us that opportunity to actually go ahead and see that interaction. So if you haven't already, go ahead and add in that um, integration or link up your Microsoft Clarity account with your Google Analytics, Analytics account so that you get that new custom dimension in there and it will make it a lot easier to kind of narrow down and see exactly what the user was seeing when they experienced any issues. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.